In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the for each meta argument in Terraform to create multiple unique instances of Terraform resource. Have you ever needed to create multiple instances of the same resource, but with different properties in Terraform? Well, if you're new to Terraform and you have, you've probably done something like this. You've created the same resource, in my example, a resource group, three times, and you've just edited the properties. And then if you're a little more advanced with Terraform, you may know about the count meta argument, where I can specify how many instances of a resource I would like. So by using the count meta argument here, I'm saying, give me two instances of this Azure Linux virtual machine. And then I can do something like uh, count.index plus one for the VM name. So that way each VM that gets created, it just adds an integer to the end of the name and increments it uh, by one. So the first VM will be VM zero and the second one will be VM one. But again, we have a problem with this because now I have to create two NICs as well. So I have to do count equals two and then I have to do count index plus one for each VM NIC name. And then I have to assign each NIC based on an index here uh, to each VM. And it gets a little messy as we scale. And it's really hard to provide a bunch of unique values, right? What if I wanted each one of my VMs to have a more unique name, to have different sizes, different OS disks, different uh, images, different custom data, right? I can't do this with count. So that brings me to today's video, right? The problem we're trying to solve is how do we create multiple instances of a Terraform resource with unique parameters, unique attributes, and unique values, right? We can do something called the for each meta argument, and we can pass in a variable, which would be a map. And that's what we're going to go over in this video today. To begin using the for each meta argument, we need to pass in a variable, and that needs to be of a type map. And a map is a data structure that represents a collection of key value pairs where each key is unique. So for example, VM1 would be a key and VM2 would be a key. And then each one of those VMs, the each key would have unique values and we would access those values based on the key. So for each value name would be assigned to the name of each VM. And that allows us to pass in unique values for each attribute by only defining one resource block here. So if we look at variables.tf, I've created a variable VM map, and that is the variable that I'm also passing into the for each meta argument. Now, if I was not creating multiple resources with for each, I wouldn't need the object part. But because I'm trying to create one, two, three, four VMs that all have unique uh, values for their attributes, then I need to use a map object type. And this represents a map where each value is an object so I can define a data structure, which again is the key value pairs, but each key maps to an object that contains multiple attributes. Now I can't begin building my map until I know exactly what I want to be unique for each VM. So I know I want the name to be unique, but what else do I want to be unique? It wouldn't make sense to make the location and name unique because those are all going to be in the same resource group for me. Um, but maybe I want the size to be unique. Right, so I can do each dot value dot size. And then maybe I want the password to be unique as well. So I can do each dot value dot size. And then maybe here down on the custom data, I also want to have uh, a unique message. So maybe, maybe we'll do each uh, dot value dot name. So if we were to look at the logs of each VM, we should see this message be echoed with the unique VM name for each VM. And this is supposed to be admin password. There we go. So now that I know exactly all the attributes I want to be unique, so we've got name, size, admin password, and we're gonna use reuse name. So really I just need name, size, and admin password. So I'll come back over here and I need to start defining all the attributes uh, that I will allow to be unique for each object in the map. So to do that, I'll do a parenthesis, a curly brace, and then I'll hit enter. And now I need to define name, and that will be a string, and size, and that will be a string as well, and then admin 
password, and that is a string as well. So here we're defining all the attributes that each object will contain or is allowed to contain within our map. So we're basically so we're basically telling the map how each object should look. So now I'll do a default. And you can see that the Terraform extension for VS Code automatically filled this in for me. But now for each VM that I want to create, so if I want to create one VM, two VM, three VM, four VM, those all need to be a key, right? So this would be VM1. And then the key VM1 can have all these unique values. So what do I want VM1's admin password to be? Um, password1. Let's do something simple. And I want the name to be VM1. And for size, I can do standard B2S. So that's one VM. And then I want to take everything from the key down. And I want to paste it. And then I want to modify these values. So VM2, that's a new key. And each one of these keys needs to be unique. And that'll be password2. And that'll be VM2. And we'll make this a standard B1S. And let's do this one more time. And we'll make that three, password three, VM three. And let's make this a standard D2S uh, V3. I think, I think that'll be good. Yeah. So now we've defined our map, how our map should look. And then each object in the map, which is a key and value pairs. And then we define that variable, which is a map of objects. And then we say for each object in the map, each key, get the name value and make it the name, get the size value and make it the size, get the admin password value and so on. And then down here in the custom data, we're just going to reuse the name attribute. Now, because I'm doing a VM, there's something else I have to take into consideration. I am attaching a network interface to each VM and that network interface is being created outside of this resource, right? So uh, what I have to do is I have to say each dot key dot ID. So for each network interface, uh, within a list of network interfaces, make the key, the ID and attach that network interface. So that means I also have to do for each, right? And I can also reference var.vm map here for every network interface, because I need the same amount of network interfaces as I need for virtual machines. And because I'm using the same map, VM map, I'm only going to create as many network interfaces as I need for the amount of VMs being created. And then what I can do here is I can again access each dot value dot name, right? So for each VM inside of the map, we're going to access the name and we're going to name our network interface after the name in that object. So that means each network interface name will match the name of its VM that get, it gets attached to. And you know what? I think just to just to kind of set the nick apart from the VM, I'm going to go ahead and append nick to the end of each one of these. And then I'll get rid of that count. And that's how it should look. All right, so with everything in place, I should now be able to run a Terraform init and plan and apply and create three unique VMs based off this code. So let's give it a try. So I had to go ahead and update these passwords because they weren't strong enough for Azure. So I'm rerunning the plan. So if we go ahead and take a look at this plan and I'll start from the top, you can see we're creating VM one, we're creating VM two, and we're creating VM three. And if we look at these values, right name, this one will be named VM three, this one will be named VM two, and this one will be named VM one, right? And then if we look at the NICs, it's the same thing. VM one NIC, VM two NIC, and so on. So now I'm gonna run a Terraform reply and then I will check back and I'll show you what it looks like in the UI.
So the apply is complete and I did have to add this attribute and rerun the apply uh, because we had a little oopsie by default disable password authentication is set to true and I was trying to use an admin password. So Microsoft Azure didn't like that. So I went ahead and added this attribute, set it to false and reran the apply. And now my three VMs are created. So if I go over to my Azure account, my resource group got created. And now we can see I have three VMs that exist inside this resource group and they each have different names. And then we can see this one is a B2S. And then if we look at VM2, we can see that this one is a B1S. So we can see that we've successfully created multiple Terraform resources but we only created one resource block and we passed in a map of objects using a VM map variable of map type object. And we described how we wanted each object to look. And the objects are basically just key value pairs. So each key is a VM that we want to create while all of the attributes that we want to be unique for each VM are values that belong to that key. For watching and hopefully this made sense.